Do you have an old silver mercury dime? We're going to show you what can make these coins extremely valuable. So first up is a very obvious type of mint error. It's a 1919 silver mercury dime that sold for over $400 at auction because it was struck 20% off center. So that gives the coin a lot of value because of the coin being struck off center, 400 bucks for that coin. Now here is a coin that sold for $384 and it's a lot less noticeable. It has a small little curved clip that you can barely even see. You know, if you don't really inspect coins closely, you probably would pass something like this up. However, this coin is also in incredible condition. It's graded at a mint state 66 with full bands. If you're not familiar with full bands, feel free to pause the screen on this image. That kind of is a designation that coin grading companies will give your Mercury dimes or your Roosevelt dimes when they are grading them. So to have full bands at a 66 with the mint error, $384. Here is another clipped coin. This is a straight clip taking place on a 1936 Mercury dime. 90% silver here, of course. Again, very high grade, 66 with the full bands. This coin sold for a little over $200 at auction. Hey guys, everyone's asking how they can get my free coin book. Well, here's how you do it. You hit the link in the comments. It takes you over here to Whatnot. You'll see my Whatnot page. Got 5,000 followers over there. You click on Shop right here on the left side, and you scroll down, and you can add the book. You go buy it now, you enter your payment and your address information, and then you make sure that $15 credit applies for your purchase. That way you get the book for free, zero dollars. All right, now you have to use my invite link to sign up. If you guys download the app and sign up, it's not going to work. You have to use the link in the comments. That way you guys can get the book absolutely free. By the way, we are on Whatnot every Tuesday and Thursday doing free giveaways, all kinds of cool stuff over there. We're selling an enormous amount amount of penny rolls, wheat penny rolls, silver coins, gold coins, everything. Make sure you guys follow. You do not want to miss out on these giveaways. And next up is a 1940S Mint Mark. Now this one here, a little bit different. If you're not really paying attention again, you could easily pass something like this up. And this is an error that you can look for on modern coins as well. It is a cud, which is also referred to as a die break. So you'll see that extra metal there on the rim of the coin. This is a very small one. There could be very large examples of this as well. And the coin's in great condition. Again, graded out of 66. This coin sold for nearly $200. Moving on to a 1942 silver mercury dime that has a curved clip. You can see at the bottom of the coin there or at the top if we're looking at the reverse, of course. Graded by Annex out of 63, so, you know, lower grade than we're looking at from the previous coins, but the coin still sold for $73 at auction. Uh, next up is a silver dime that is in not so great condition, graded at a 20, uh, so on the lower end of the grading scale, but it does have a lamination taking place on the obverse of the coin. Now this coin here ended up selling for around $50 at auction. Let's keep on moving on. Another lamination error taking place here on the 1942 Mercury Dime. This coin sold for around $90 at auction, graded at a 62. So again, lamination errors and all these errors that we're really looking at can take place on just about any type of coin in a lot of cases. This next coin here has been double struck. It is a 1944 Mercury dime. You can see that there, that little piece of double strike there. This coin ended up selling for $228 even in this condition. Next up is a 1944S that has a tilted partial collar taking place here. Now this mint error coin ended up selling for around $80 at auction. Of course, we can see that around the rim of the coin and the coin is graded at a 58. So it's not mint state, uh, but it's still sold for 80 bucks. Here's another coin that has a mint error. This dime has been broad struck. 1945 D mint mark mercury dime. By the way, if you're not familiar with where the mint mark is on these coins, it will be on the reverse at the bottom. You'll see that D mint mark or an S mint mark or no mint mark at all. This coin ended up selling for around $60. This next coin is one of my favorite mercury dime errors ever. The coin has been double struck and that strike is flipped over in collar. So you'll see the lettering from the reverse, the design of the reverse here with the obverse, and then the same on the other side of the coin. You'll see the obverse design, actually the 1945 date even itself 
on the reverse of the coin. So this coin, graded by PCGS, ended up selling for over $2,800, nearly a $3,000 coin. Moving right along to a 1945 Mercury Dime that was actually struck onto the wrong planchet. This design, the Mercury Dime design, was struck onto a Venezuela planchet, coin planchet. So this coin ended up selling for over $6,000, $6,600 coin there. Unbelievable. Moving on to a coin that has been double struck. Again, a very obvious type of mint error here, of course. I think this error kind of speaks for itself. The coin does not have a date as a result of the error, of course. And this coin ended up selling for a little over $4,000 at auction, graded by NGC. Next up is another no dated Mercury dime. Now this coin does have a die adjustment strike, which is why the whole design is faded out. So the coin graded at a 55 by PCGS sold for $558. So if you guys are purchasing coin collections or you know just purchasing big bags of silver or whatever it may be, make sure you guys are actually inspecting these coins closely because you don't wanna pass up one that is extremely valuable. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.